Hello everyone. Blessings. Blessings to you all. If it's your first time here, my name is Patricia Lasky. Um, welcome. And as always, thank you guys so much for supporting our ministry. So today I have a prophetic word. Um, it's presentation time. Um, it's a quick word, but it's a very important word. So the Lord has been speaking to many of us about um, being dressed and being prepared over the past uh, couple of seasons. <clears throat> and now it's presentation time. And what the Lord highlighted to me is that it's very important to ask him what you need and what you should take for where you are going. Um, so we're going to be reading out of Esther 2, um, 13 through uh, 15. <clears throat> Then thus came every maiden unto the king. Whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned into the second house of the women to, <clears throat> excuse me, to the custody of Shashgaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except he, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in, in the sight of all of them that looked upon her. So we see here that the women were asked, what do you require? And require is bakash in Hebrew, which means to seek, to desire, or to request. And they were going to be giving, given anything um, that they wanted. And this is the time of open doors and it is an open season. Um, and... You know, our time in the wilderness was long. Our time in the waiting place um, can also uh, be for an extended period, right? But coming out of the wilderness, we all have desires. We all, you know, ask the Lord for different things. It could be finances, a job, um, a new home, a car, you know, whatever it is that we have in our hearts is what we tend to go after. And so these women were asked, what do you want? Because they were gonna be given whatever they desired. Whatever they wanted was going to be given to them. And they chose, they picked for themselves. And, uh, and right now, as many of you are coming out of your waiting place, um, a lot of people are going after what they want. They're going after what they have been considering um, in their hearts. But when it came to Esther, when she was asked what she required, um, she only desired what the keeper recommended. And she asked, what would you say I should have? She went with his recommendation. Um, and I just want to share something with you guys really quickly is that the Lord, before we came out of our waiting place, maybe two or three months before he had asked me, uh, what do you want? He said, tell me what you want and I will give it to you. And so I sat for a while and I thought, and without even realizing it at the time I had said, Lord, tell me what you want me to have. Whatever you say you want me to have, that's what I want. And it really, really pleased him. It really pleases the Lord for us to ask him, what it is um, that he wants. And so um, Esther had wisdom in her speaking and she asked for what the keeper recommended um, because she knew that he was knowledgeable and she knew that he was close to the king. And so the um, keeper is a representation of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit has great knowledge of the king. So as you are being released, as you are being released to open your business or to start your ministry or to go into the marketplace or, um, you know, maybe it is to get married, whatever the Lord has called you 
you to in this hour. It is important that we partner with the Holy Spirit, that we ask him for divine wisdom and divine strategy. Because as, as I said, sometimes we have a tendency to just kind of dart out. You know, once the Lord says, okay, it's time to go, we kind of just psh, we're out of here. But it's good to ask the Lord, what should I put on? Um, to be successful in my business or successful in my ministry. And I'm not talking about outward appearance. I'm talking about spiritually putting on so that we are ready and prepared. And also, it's always important for us to be moving and working off of the King's recommendation. Until next time, God bless you all. We love you all. Talk to you soon.